Hello, welcome back. This is Rob. Today I want to talk about adding Groove templates to Logic and the method that I kind of stumbled upon years ago that I have used. And See, the thing about Logic is, you know, like, for example, like an MPC drum machine, there are, there's MIDI files out there. If you search the web, you can find free MIDI for the MPC 3000 Grooves or what have you and machine uh, groove templates and they can be imported with logic into logic and the thing with logic is it has to exist all of those MIDI clips have to exist on a per song basis so they have to exist in the song so what you have to do is you have to if you want to build something kind of housey deep house with a lot of swing or what have you you and you want to use MPC you have to have those files hanging around your project. And let me show you a little workaround that I did here. So what I have here is I have just a straight little drum loop that I put together with uh, Citala, just their stock kit here. And it's just your basic kind of beat. So I want to add some swing and I could use Logic's grooves. They have all these different well, down here in the 16 swing category. But say I want to import some MPC grooves. So I have some on my uh, hard drive. And they're sitting here on my desktop. So what you do, and you can find these if you search MPC for Logic 10, MPC for whatever, and you can find places where you can download these files. So what you do is you drag this MIDI file in and what Logic will do is it'll make a bunch of tracks. Just watch here. I drag it in and it's hopefully this doesn't crash my computer. Okay. And what it's doing is it's going to make however many MPC MIDI files that there are it's going to create a piano track and it's going to staggering stagger them all down so now i have all the mpc 3000 16 files and i believe down if you go further down here there's quarter eighth note yeah eighth note files down here which i have ne actually honestly i've never used I should look into that. So what I do now is that I kind of focus on this track that I've already named Drum Machine Groove. And then I have to kind of maneuver around here and whoops, and pick all of these, just like so. And then what I do is I control click and then go here to edit and copy to focus track. And what that in effect does is it flattens, even though some of these are overlapping, the overlapping regions, there, are, there is no MIDI data. So it's just kind of like an overlapping region with no data on top of each other. So now they're all strung in a row here. So what I can do is come back in here and delete all of these. Then I can select these and delete all these tracks. And then what you have to do is you have to go in here to your quantize menu, go down here and make groove template. But you have to have all these selected. So let me select all these. There you go. Now let's make a groove template. And then now let's go up here. And now all of my MPC grooves should be available. And here they are. And here's all my 16s. I'm going to go to 62% and watch the MIDI jump here. See, now it's jumped to a MPC swing quantization. And it will, boy, what a big difference. Totally changes the feel. 
so, and I haven't actually compared it back and forth between logic because who needs to? I mean, that sounds great, but to each its own, you can adjust it to your own taste once you do this. But you're probably asking, but dude, what am I gonna do with all these? Okay, so what you do is you press H on your keyboard if you have logic, and that missing hide track icon will magically appear, and then you just hide. Oh, okay, now there's the hide track button. So it's marked hide. There you go. And that's pretty much all I got. Now you're ready to uh, make some tech house or deep house or what have you. Some techno. It's all good, dog. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.